Hello, this is Suzanne Ferry Parrott with Unruly Guides, and this is part two of showing you how to take a publisher's PDF and convert it to an EPUB. Now, you may not be completely satisfied with this video, but I am going to show you what happens and what steps you need to take if you're going to go that route. Now, in our previous video, I showed you what it looked like when we converted a book. Now, this was my book before that I had, and you can see that I have graphics and tables and images in place. And then when we converted it, we used Caliber. And Caliber is a free source online that you can use, and it's at calibre-ebook.com, or you can just do search for Caliber, and it'll show up in the results. We converted to an EPUB here. And on, underneath that is there is a click to open, and when you click that, it'll show you all the different elements of the book. And here we have the EPUB file. So what I'm going to do is I had opened it in digital editions earlier. I'm going to show you that real quick. And you can see that it made like a royal mess. But we do have all the elements, the graphics and all the text. So now what we want to do is we want to be able to convert the file or open it in Sigil. Or if you have a web design program such as Dreamweaver, Dream, excuse me, Dreamweaver, that will work too. But in this sense, we're going to use Sigil. So you go to Open With and go to the Sigil app. Or you can open up Sigil. Now Sigil is also another free program that you can get online. Just do a search for S-I-G-I-L and you will find it. Now you can see over here on the right side, this is the table of contents. Now this is not the table of contents that is linkable. This is called the logical table of contents. And what it does is it allows you to jump from chapter to chapter within the Kindle using the five-way controller. But it doesn't look right, does it? And you see over here, I have a 50-page book, and I only have four pages. So what it did was it split this at certain areas. So I'm going to have to correct that. It did bring in all the images, but it did rename them. So I'm not even sure what each image is, like this image 19 underscore 1. Ah, oh, it's my little cowboy. And usually you can rename them. You just go right-click, and you can rename it to fit what you want. But right now, don't rename them because it is being linked to within your book. And if you rename it, then you'll have to change it in here, too. This is the title page. It actually is the cover, and that should be renamed as cover xhtml. And in the first page it split, it also put another cover there. And as we scroll down, we can see that we have our table of contents the way I had designed it in my print version. But this will do no good when it's on an EPUB. This actually has to be redone and coded in HTML. But let's scroll on down a little more. You can see what it did with the graphics. It actually just threw everything in there, one on top of the other. Same with the next section. So to fix this, first of all, you're going to have to split them into the correct pages, and then you're going to have to go through the code and clean it up. Now I know a lot of you are looking like deer in the headlights, and I don't blame you. If it was me, I would take the original, final, polished Word file and start from scratch. And it may sound more daunting, but it's actually a lot easier. Because rather than going through and cleaning up all the issues that you have in here, you're actually going to start with clean code, and then you can implement your graphics where you want them. It might take some time, but it can be done. So I recommend two things. You can either get my DIY formatting kit. It's only $15 right now at an introductory offer, and it shows you how to do all the implementation of splitting the pages. However, you can also just watch the videos, and they are located on YouTube. They're also on Unruly Guides and on First Steps Publishing. And each of these videos will take you through the steps of how to split the files and um, you know, do certain things to clean things up. And of course, if you have any issues or any problems, you are free to email me. Just contact me at blog at unrulyguides.com or just go to the Unruly Guides site and go to contact and just send me an email because I'm happy to help you. So thanks for listening and have a great day.